All right, good Sunday morning. I want to uh, give you a thought just for your day, just to kind of kick your week off. And maybe we'll do this um, periodically here on the way it was. But uh, I get up here early on Sundays to get ready for service and uh, just the day. And I pray. And, um, you know, yesterday, Andrew and I took Jude, our youngest one, he's 12, to a movie and uh, went to see The Blind. And it's a movie about Phil Robertson and um, his story of coming to faith. Phil Robertson started uh, Duck Commander and um, and his boys, uh, Willie and Jace and all those guys have really kind of taken it off, made it a household name. But Phil had a story that um, uh, just really struggled with alcoholism, struggled with just being mean and living this life just kind of in the pit. And uh, Christ redeemed it and saved him. And when we were driving away and I was talking to Andrea and Jude and and I said, you know, it just really brought up a lot of memories, even in my own family, my own life. And uh, here I am this morning, and I'm and I'm I'm kind of praying. I'm getting ready for the day and everything that God's going to do here at First Baptist Halton. And and uh, God just has my mind and my heart on my own salvation and how God changed me and how He redeemed me. And I I want to take just a minute and share a, a couple of verses with you out of Psalm 40. And maybe just a few thoughts and uh, just I am overwhelmed by the grace of God and what he's done in my life. So let me read these verses to you. It's Psalm 40 uh, verses 1 uh, through 5. Let me uh, let me just take it a little bit at a time. D- David's writing this and he said, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry. He also brought me up out of the horrible pit out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. You know, and I read those those first two verses, and and I think, you know what? God has given me what I don't deserve. He did just that in my life. He he took me out of a pit. I didn't grow up in church. Uh, Church Sunday was just another day for us to be in the woods, uh, to do what we wanted to do, and um, and I, I just I never grew up with. We didn't hate God, but I just never grew up with a faith and thinking about God and thinking that He wanted to have a relationship with me. Now, my parents loved me. There was never a day in my life where I'll question that. Um, but um, but you know, God was just kind of this far abstract thought for me, and. Uh, And then when I was 17 years old, I I met a a girl and we started dating and uh, she was involved in church and she just had something. Her family had something I didn't have. They, um, I could just tell in their life there was a joy in them. Um, there, there was, uh, something, this peace in them that was missing from my life. And the more I was around them, the more I noticed it and saw it. And, uh, more than more, I just, I started coming and hearing, uh, the word of God and hearing the gospel, I realized that uh, that there was something that was missing in my life, and God wanted me to have that. And you know, up until that time, you know, I, I just lived in this house where uh, God wasn't a priority, and um, and so I, I was in that pit, you know, the pit that I had made myself. And uh, and and God just reached down when I was seventeen years old, and He pulled me out of that pit and he he set my feet on a rock um that rock was jesus and um and he he stabilized my life and the foundation of christ in my life and and god gave me what i did not deserve and that was a relationship with him but watch what uh, david says as he keeps going listen to verse 3 of psalm 40 he says he has put a new song in my mouth um Praise to our God. Many will see and fear um, and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. You see, God had given me what I didn't deserve, but God has given me what this world could never offer me, you know, God had given me that joy that was missing. God had given me that peace that was missing. God changed me, um, and the world saw it. 
the world could see in me there was something different. He set my feet on that rock, but but in this, David says that that, uh, that blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust um, and, and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. In fact, many will see and fear and will trust the Lord. Many will see there's a difference. There's a, there's an integrity. There's a change. There's a character change, um, in that was in my life, and and this world saw it. Now I'll tell you something. God didn't make me perfect um, when He saved me. Um, he changed me though. He changed my vocabulary. He changed my actions. He changed um, the things that I was involved in, the things that I had consumed. Um, my life with and consumed in my life and um, and he made me whole and he made me different. Listen to this. God gave me what I never deserved. I, I didn't deserve salvation and he gave it to me, set my feet on a rock. But watch this. God gave me what this world could never offer me. He gave me joy um, and joy is different than happiness. You see, joy is what's inside of me. Joy doesn't, it doesn't involve the circumstances of my life. It, it, it's not what's around me. It's what's inside of me. And so Christ changed me, setting my foot, my feet on a rock, and he filled my heart and my life with joy. He gave me what I was missing. Now, here's another thing. Look, look at look at this. In verse 5, he kind of wraps his thought up. Listen to what he says. He says, Many, O Lord my God, are your wonderful works, which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted in you to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Now, think about that. D David said, when I think about all of the, the thoughts that you have toward me, how you love me and all that you've done for me, I can't even number the things that you have done. Now, now watch this. Remember, God's given me what I don't deserve. God's given me what this world could never offer me. But but here's the last thing I want you to think about. God has given me more than I could ever imagine. God has blessed me. Um, God's fingerprints are all over my life. Um, when God set my feet on rock, he pulled me out of the pit of sin in my life. God changed the trajectory of my family. God broke a a cycle of sin in my family and in my life. Um, that the little girl that I dated and went to church with, um, I married seven years after we started dating, and uh, we began a family. And we had three boys uh, that have become young men, Jeb and Jake and Jude. All three of them um, have surrendered their life to Jesus. All three of them love them, love him. And and watch this. All three of them have been raised in a home who've talked about Jesus, loved Jesus, prayed to Jesus, trusted in Jesus. And God gave me more than I could ever imagine. He has filled my life with, uh, with himself. And he has given me joy and um, more than I could ever count or number. His fingerprints are all over my life. Are they all over yours? God wants to do that in your life. He wants to take your feet um, and place them on the solid rock that's Jesus. He wants to pull you out of the miry clay. He wants to give you what you don't deserve. He wants to give you what this world could never offer you. And I promise you, he will do in your life more than you could ever, ever imagine. Surrender your life to Jesus. Um, We've got some people who'd love to talk to you. Uh, in fact, you can go to this website, endthehunt.org, and you can talk to folks who want to help you uh, set your feet upon that rock that is Jesus. Hey, thanks for letting me share with you this morning. I hope you have an awesome Sunday and an incredible week this week. Go out and kill something. Talk to you later.